paper lovers, it's Sarah, and this Tuesday it is time for another Terrific Tuesday Challenge TTC over on the Scrappy Moms blog. This week, the challenge is to use the Stand In Salute cartridge. That cartridge is obviously patriotic, has flags, stars, fireworks, um, that type of thing. I don't have that cartridge, so if you're like me, just, um, just use something similar to stay with that kind of patriotic theme. And it goes great with the launch of the new Scrappy Mom set, Yankee Doodle Dandy. It's got um, Fourth of July sentiments on here, stuff about heroes, uh, freedom, that type of thing. It's a great set. I'm going to be using God Bless the USA and Happy Independence Day. I thought that was kind of cute because they kind of rhymed. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have any um, flag cartridges, so I had to make my own flag. And what I did was in the, um, let me stand up and see if you can see this, in the Create a Critter cartridge on page 28, there's this little flag here, so I took this little stick right here, and I sized it at 3.16, and then I just welded a rectangle to it that is sized at 1.10, and that's how I made this little flag, and I cut it out in black, so that's my little flag base, and then the pattern cardstock that I'm using is from this adorable K & Company stack that came out last year. I'm not sure if it's still available, but it has all different holidays in it. So there's some 4th of July paper in there that I'm going to use. So, oops, I'm going to adhere this little piece of the stripe paper down for my flag. Oh my gosh, my ATD gun just opened up. I'm going to stick this down, and I just cut this to fit over the little flag part. I'm going to set that aside. Our card base is a regular A2 size 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half, and it's craft card stock, and it's going to open this way. And then my top layer here is 4 by 5 and a quarter. It's just more of that stripy paper. And then this little layer is some star paper, and it's cut at 2 by 4 And before I adhere this down, I'm going to wrap some twine around it. And look how sad. It's the last of my paper tray ink twine. Time to get some more. I'm going to grab a piece of tape. Ah, looks like my kids have been in my tape. Okay, got a little piece. <laughs> just going to tape it back here just to help me control it a little better. to attempt another bow on camera, ladies and gentlemen. Stay. Okay, I've already messed up. It's okay. Somebody commented on my last video, don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> Okay, so there's my very sloppy bow. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to tear that down. here on the edge. And I thought that kind of created the look of a flag. 
you know, with the stars on one side and the stripes on the other. Okay, and this, I'm going to adhere my flag right here. I'm going to tilt it a little bit so that these stripes are kind of offset from the other ones. But first, I have a little star brad. And I'm actually going to stamp my sentiment here, and then I'm going to put it down a little bit. Okay, I have a little star brad here that I'm going to stick right here. Hopefully this is going to work. That's good. It could have come down a little bit, but that's okay. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment, which I probably should have done before I put the brad. You know what? I'm going to take my brad out because I don't want my block to hit it, and then my stamp will be off. So this is where I'm going to stamp the God Bless the USA. It'd be really cute if you did the, um, like, U in red, the S in white, and the A in blue. That would be cute, but... Okay, there's my God Bless the USA. And let me put my little star back in. And, doggone it, I was going to add some star brads down here, of course I forgot, as usual. paper piercer and I'm going to poke three holes, try to get them in a straight line. And I have the same silvery brads but they're smaller. two cups of coffee this morning and I'm shaky. back on my card base. Stick this back on here. There we go. Simple little card today. And then I'm just going to grab my Happy Independence Day stamp. plans for the 5th of July. We're going to do just a small little barbecue here and invite just a few friends over. Nothing too fancy. Let's see. Happy. I shouldn't be stamping with all this coffee in me. Okay, happy Independence Day. So that's our simple little card today. Hope you like it. Thanks for stopping by. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.